friends, welcome to Kate's Kingdom. My name is Kate and today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're doing something a little bit different than normal. Do not fret, story time videos will be coming back on Tuesday. Tuesdays is gonna be awkward dates I've had at Disney. And then Thursday is gonna be me just talking about the Jungle Cruise and what it's really like to work there. So I'm really excited. So today I wanna do something I haven't seen anyone do in the Disney community on YouTube. A little while ago, everyone in the beauty community was doing these I followed a insert name here makeup tutorial. And I thought they were all really great. I watched all of them, especially Jenna Marbles because she's great. And so today I wanted to do one with someone who does makeup better than me because if you haven't figured it out yet from these videos, I don't I don't wear makeup pretty much ever. I do sometimes. I just don't know how it works. Like I know I have pieces, but I don't know how to put the puzzle together. So I figured today maybe I could ask someone for help and figure out how to do makeup. So today I wanted to follow a makeup tutorial from a really amazing person, a queen, a Disney college program legend, a vlogging legend, Madeline Mosier. If you haven't followed her channel, it's called MGM Studios. She's done two programs. She lives her best life. She also does a lot of makeup tutorials on her channel and I do not. <laughs> if you like videos like this and you want to see me do more, please hit that like button so that I know and I can make more of these. So I'm going to use my iPad and I'm going to watch her tutorial. I'm a little nervous just because I haven't watched it through, so if it's super complicated or if there are items I don't have, I don't know how it's going to come out, but I'm really excited. So today we are going to do her Princess Aurora inspired makeup. I'm living for it, so let's get started. This one is inspired by Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. Work. I literally love Aurora. I think she's so precious, so sweet, sings amazing. I Queen. Just get good vibes from Aurora, so I Same just girl. Same. what more fun is it to be Princess Aurora every day? So right. that's why I want that to means you can this sleep. One. Prime my face with the benefit for professional. Oh, I have that. I have that. Oh, she's at the next step. Oh no. I used um, my Lush Celestial Moisturizer on my face, and now I'm using the uh, Benefit Professional that uh, Madeline recommended. Estee Lauder Double Wear. If you guys have seen my stuff before, then you probably know that I use this all the time. <laughs> okay, so foundation. I don't have her Estee Lauder. I use uh, Fenty Beauty. Um, I use it in a 150. Love Rihanna. Love this. I just washed my face and now I'm putting makeup on it and it hates me. There we go. <laughs> also I'm gonna mix it with some MAC Stro Cream. So oh, she's I mixing it? Okay, so she mixed it with something but your girl uh, didn't hit play far enough. And also doesn't have anything to mix it with except for love. So. <laughs> literally just dump the foundation. Out. This music is so nice. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in shade Fair. Okay, so now she's gonna use concealer. I use the uh, Nude Sticks Concealer Pencil in the shade Light 2, because I am too light for other shades. <laughs> so she is putting it here but she put a lot she puts a lot more than I do do what should I yeah I'm gonna follow her so I'm gonna do a lot more than what I normally do she did it like that um, a mill then like that and then like that right hopefully okay it's getting warm <laughs> time to put the hair up so anyways I'm just gonna take the Cody airskin translucent powder and just set underneath the eyes. Now she is using powder, um, like a like a translucent powder. I only have one powder. Oh, it says translucent. Oh, it's the right one. This is the uh, Laura Mercier loose setting powder. So that feels similar, right? I bought this. I got this in a gift bag set from Sephora once. I made some beauty blender to set underneath the eyes. Okay, don't have a beauty blender, but I have this brush that I've had this brush since I was 13, maybe 12 to 13 years old. It's a Mac brush. No idea what the what the number is or anything about it except it's pretty. Under eye circles who? Tired what? It's like the downgrade of a Barbie doll. 
it's not a Bratz doll. But when you are not a downgrade of a Barbie doll, you are the queen like, Barbie doll. Thank you. Know. Oh wait, she she already did her eyebrows. Oh no, oh no, abort, abort. How am I already so behind? <laughs> so for my eyebrows, uh, the lady at the Sephora store remind, recommended this. It's a Benefit uh, My Brow Pencil in a shade 4 because your girl's got thick with three C's eyebrows. Oh god, I hope this goes okay. And then you're supposed to use this thing to like blend it. Oh, it's like I'm Jeffree Star now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi. <sighs> Can't relate. The Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer. Oh, eyeshadow primer. Um, I've been using this for... Alright, she's recommending eyeshadow primer and your girl uh, does not have that. So, moving along. I definitely prefer the Laura Mercier powder. Oh my god, she uses it too! Twins! Okay, so when, for some reason, when I think of Aurora, I think of a nice brown eye, but more focus on the lip. The word smoky sounds terrifying. <laughs> Because I feel like I'm just going to get brown like all over my face, but I trust her and her tutorial. So let's see. So I am using my Morphe 35O and I'm just going to dip into this first color. I don't have that, uh, but I do have the uh, Tartiest Pro palette. Oh, Kate, why, why did you get such a professional palette if you don't do makeup? Um, because I saw a vlogger go to Bora Bora and she got one for free and I was like, oh my god, like I should get that. That's what happened. Hey Tart, uh, bring me to Bora Bora. Yeah, I'm a makeup professional. <laughs> I'm gonna get my brush. Um, this is the Pro, this is uh, Sephora uh, 30. This is a number 30 Sephora. I didn't know they had numbers until right now. Uh, the Pro Airbrush Shadow Brush. Just gonna place that all over. So I am gonna go into here and I'm gonna use vintage. I feel like such a makeup guru just being like, I'm gonna put this all over my face and hope that it's correct. Did you guys see that they're doing adult Disney makeup tutorials now at uh, Disney World? Crazy, right? Oh, there's eyeshadow everywhere. So next, using the exact same brush, Top row. Well, you're gonna go over, over, over and grab this shade. But then you're gonna go diagonal and grab this shade. So she's getting two shades that I don't have exact replicas of, but I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. It's like a matte brown yellow thing. I am gonna go on here and I'm gonna use bold and edgy and mix them together and hope something happens. Here we go. Here's our here's the crease. Oh god, oh god, it's happening. It's too dark. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Okay, I swear I'm trying. Like, I swear I'm not trying to do this bad. I swear I'm trying. I just... Oh no. Do you want to know what my makeup tutorial is when I do makeup? Um, I use classic or vintage, and I put it, like, on the top part. And then I, like, sometimes use chic, and I, like, put it over the middle part, and then I hope that's enough. So, this is all new. You're gonna go to the second row, and you're gonna go all the way over to this shade right here. Okay, like so she is pointing at a brown, a dark brown shade, so your girl's gonna brown. use a smoke and over here on the this, end. <laughs> and <laughs> so after that, I'm gonna use smoke more directly in the crease. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, that's not the crease, that's my lid. Um, crease, crease, crease. Oh no! Outer corner. Got this. So I am gonna use whimsy. Oh no. Oh, no! Oh, she looks so pretty. And, um, I'm trying my best. Again, into the crease. Oh, and up. just give it more depth. If you know what I mean. So now I'm gonna go back with my Morphe M504. You think it's blended enough? Oh, no. Oh, no. So she might look a little messy right now, but trust me. Girl. <laughs> she's gonna revive. So next I'm going- Thank you for that positive reinforcement on this Luke. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush. It doesn't have a name. I call her flat. I'm gonna go back into that matte white shade. Oh my gosh, flat, go yes, flat. We love top. flat. So we have to go back to that original shiny color and then put that in the middle. And just give her a good last blend of this. Let's align the upper lash line with a brown. So we'll just use just edgy. You know at one point in my life I wanted to be a makeup guru? 
I don't think that's the career for me. Once you finished lining your lids with eyeshadow, um, you don't have to do this stuff. This is just something I want to do. I'm going to take a brown eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in color less. So she wants to use a brown eyeliner and do her lid. Um, I don't have that. This is a lip pencil. What am I doing? The only liner I have is this um, Kat Von D tattoo liner. Uh, please vaccinate your children. I'm going to use those two colors I used for those tri the transition shades. Okay, use transition that shades. To, to the bottom and then just kind of going. So we're going to do the bottoms now with those two transition shades. And we're going under. I mean the colors are pretty so like she did pick a good combination of colors, like the Lord to put the lights in the dark. Like, there's depth, and that's, like, what she wanted. I just don't know how to do it, and it kind of, like, if I block that out, that's, like, kind of cute, and I block that out, that's cute. But that's okay, so I'm going to go in and contour. I don't know how to contour, so we're not going to do that. What if I, like, oh, am I fixing it? Oh, am I fixing it? Who is she? Okay, she's like, this is better. A Luke. I like it though. I mean, it's dark and I did way too much, but like, I like the colors she used a lot. And this one also has a little bit of purple in it. I don't okay, know. so she is putting blush on right now. And your girl doesn't own blush because your girl's cheeks are always red. So, but I do have this rainbow illuminator. So I'm gonna put that on instead. Why don't I wear this every day? This is amazing. Okay. The more you smile, the happier you feel. Yes, so true. Yes. Okay, so now she wants to do the waterline with like a nude pencil, but like I don't have that, so that's good. We're gonna continue. But she wanted to highlight here. So I am gonna do uh, my my trick is I go in here and I take vintage and then I take my pinky and then I go boop and then I take my pinky and I go boop and then that's how I highlight my eyes. Highlight the places I like to highlight. Ooh, she loves to highlight. All right, I have one highlighter. It is a travel one. You can't really see it. It's called, I think it's called Light It Up or Lights On and it's from Benefit and I got it in like a little kit and so we're gonna highlight. Next I'm going to put on mascara and, and just curl my lashes. Bottom top, just drugstore mascara. Okay, so we're doing mascara. So mascara, sorry, I've been trying to wipe a little bit of the eyeshadow off, trying to get it to like, look like hers. Mascara, I am gonna use the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I haven't gone far enough to head to see if she does this, but I'm gonna use my uh, Disney Beauty, oh, Beautifully Disney Eyelash Curler. She does use an eyelash curler, she does. So it's good, we're good, we're on the same page. Look at, I know I'm probably putting the picture on the screen, but I just need to show you this. Look at how beautiful her highlight is. Like, look at that. She looks so good. So I'm going to line it and completely fill in the lips. So basically, she is lining the lips and then painting them in. Um, your girl uh, does not have said objects. So instead, we're going to use the pinkest lipstick I have, which is this Sephora lipstick in the Mr. Lover um, shade. So anyways, that completes our look for today so this is her luke and then this is mine so i haven't seen this with glasses on yet and i'm uh i can't see without glasses so here we go <laughs> i like the colors that she picked so i liked that or it's like browns and like it's pretty so i like what she picked i just don't like what i did to myself overall madeline did a really good job with her tutorial i learned a lot um I didn't put it into really great practice because your girl only has like one brush, but I made it happen. Probably wouldn't have gone as intense underneath my eyes, but besides that, like, I think I did okay. I think, I think I did all right. I kind of like having, yeah, I think I did okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to Madeline. Her channel link is going to be down below. When you go over there, tell her that I sent you, send your love, send lots of positive feedback her way. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button. Question of the day. If you could have the makeup style of any Disney princess, who would it be? I would say Giselle from Enchanted because she's just my favorite. All right, thanks so much, friends. Have a great day. Bye.